previously I showed you how to make some passive income using your Raspberry Pi utilizing the Mysterium network. Today I'm bringing you another video on how to make some passive income with a Raspberry Pi or any other hardware computers laying around in your house. Please allow me to introduce the very first decentralized search engine, PreSearch. Currently with 1.3 million searches a day, powered by the community and leveraging the blockchain technology with only 500 million pre-tokens in total supply. I recently interviewed the founder and CEO of PreSearch, Colin Pape. There was a total of 15 interview questions and he was able to give us some insights on hardware minor release timeline and estimated mainnet launch. I will link the video in the description below. Oh, by the way, I'm Moto Tech. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and like our videos. For every like we receive, $1 will be donated to support a different charity each month. You can check out our previous donations under our community tab. Previously, we have supported UNICEF and Ida Hurricane Relief. All right, without further ado, let's get this started. I have to clarify something first. This video is for someone who's truly interested in supporting a community-driven, global-scale, decentralized project. If you want to be a part of the Web 3.0 revolution or simply getting your hands wet by doing a fun Raspberry Pi project, so maybe you can put that on your future resume or talk about it during a tech interview, then this is for you. However, if you're trying to look for something that can get you rich overnight or in a week or maybe in a month, then you can stop watching the video right now. And find another crypto channel that basically tricks you into buy high, sell low, or hold your loss until you hit the bottom of the ocean. I'll never let go. I promise. All right, I get it. Some people would say, hey, pre-token was at four cents last month, and a month later, it's already at... 24 cents, a 600% gain. Please stop. We are talking about a multi-billion dollar business model here. Pre-search is changing how we search and changing how business can do advertisement by introducing its revolutionary idea called keyword staking. Basically, you can do advertisement for free as long as you hold some pre-tokens. If you look at one of PreSearch's biggest competitor, DuckDuckGo, which is another search engine focused heavily on privacy, it only covers 1% of what Google search engine covers, but it's already worth over a billion dollars. So this kind of gives you an idea of how much potential PreSearch has. And think about it, there's only 500 million tokens. So I'll let you do the math. Finally, let's start our hands-on session. So their official documentation does have a instruction on how to set up a Raspberry Pi node. However, I will not set up the same way because I think my way is a little bit easier, especially if you have set up a cloud node before. Or you want to know how to set up a cloud node so you can do it easily in the future. What do you need is a Raspberry Pi 64-bit Raspberry Pi, and that's anything above Raspberry Pi 3. So over here, I have a Raspberry Pi 4 with a case. And you also need a SD card. I am using a 32 GB SD card. If you don't already have one, you need a SD card reader. We'll plug the SD card in and then plug this reader into our computer. Oh yeah, I'll be demonstrating this on a Windows 10 device. And the steps are not that much different on a Mac or Linux. I will have all the links you need in the description below. The first thing you need to do is go to Ubuntu's website and download its Ubuntu server image. We will be using the 64-bit image. And this is a server version, so it will not have a graphical interface. And next thing, you need to download the Raspberry Pi imager for the operating system you're using. In this case, we have downloaded the Windows one. And then we will have to click open file. We need to install the imager. Run the imager once it's finished installing. Choose the operating system. We will go all the way down. Use the custom image. You need to locate the image you downloaded earlier and choose that one. For storage, we'll choose the SD card we put in earlier. And then we click right. And now we have to wait. And since we're waiting, I want to talk about why we want to use Raspberry Pi. I know a lot of people, including myself, we have set up a bunch of cloud nodes. 
When I was interviewing the CEO of Presearch, he said this is supposed to be a decentralized project. And he said he's not against using these cloud services. And actually a majority of the nodes currently run on these cloud VMs. However, when we run these nodes on the cloud, it's still kind of centralized. And let's say one day AWS decides you can no longer run Presearch nodes on AWS. At that time, Presearch will lose a large amount of nodes and that will have a huge negative impact on pre-search engine's performance. I have been using cloud nodes to do some testings. Later on in the video, I will show you the testing results. Also currently, to run a node, we need to stake at least 1,000 pre-tokens. At the today's price, it's about 250 US dollars. Pre-search say this number will change in the future. However, if you stake now, you will be grandfathered in, which means if they increase the amount later, you don't have to worry about it. For the nodes you staked with 1000 pre-tokens, you were still able to run the nodes at that time. Currently, they offer multiple ways for you to buy pre-tokens. You can either buy with credit card directly on their website, or you can transfer Ethereum or Bitcoin. Or if you already have swapped some pre-tokens, let's say using MetaMask, you can just transfer those pre-tokens into your account. At the moment, you will also be able to earn some pre-tokens while you're conducting search. That's right. And I'll have one of my referral links below too. If you're new to pre-search, you can use a referral link to sign up and get 25 pre-tokens. Finally, it's done. It took a little bit over 10 minutes actually. We will close this. We're going to insert this SD card into the Raspberry Pi. Make sure it's properly seated. We will also plug a ethernet cable. You can use Wi-Fi. However, uh, Wi-Fi is not going to be as good uh, because it will have a longer latency and uh, that means lower rewards and that's actually pretty significant we're also going to plug in the power and now our device has started if you're using windows you will be needing putty if you're using mac you should be able to use your terminal if you're using uh, linux then you know what you're doing already. So the first thing we need to find the IP address, the local IP address, our Raspberry Pi. You need to go into a router and find the local IP address. And for me, it is 192.168.1.197. And for you, maybe something different. And since different routers have different interface, I'm not going to show you how to do that. And if you need to find out how to find the IP address of your Raspberry Pi, I encourage you to do your own pre-search. We're going to SSH into our Raspberry Pi. Click yes, and default username should be Ubuntu, and password should also be Ubuntu. The first thing you need to do is change your current password. After changing your password, you will have to re-log in. All right, we will go to the next step, is copy this command and paste it. And this to make sure your server, and this to make sure your Ubuntu server is up to date. And by the way, don't forget to get yourself some coffee or snacks, you know, this step's gonna take a little bit. Now that's over, make sure let's copy the second line and we'll paste it in. We will follow the AWS instruction. We're going to copy the first line of code, we'll right click, second line of code, right click. All right, now we copy the third line of code, paste it, and the next line of code, we'll paste that. Okay, before we continue to the next line of code, I want you to drag this bar all the way to the right, and here you'll see registration code your registration code here. And this is when you need to copy this entire line, open up a text editor, paste this line of code here. The way you get this registration code is by applying for running a node. So it will look something like this. When you go to presearch.org, you go click nodes. If your first time, you never mind before, never applied for an account, uh, it should tell you to launch a node. And once you click this, it will bring you to another page to put in some information and you will have to wait for less than 24 hours to, uh, for a manual approval. And once, once that happens, you can go to uh, node Explorer and down here, you will see your node registration code. And all you have to do is click copy. And then you just use that code to replace this entire section here, your registration code here. And once you have done that, you just paste this entire command into your SSH command window. And that is pretty much it. You copy the last line of command, you paste it. And here, when you see that, and that means your node is running super easy. All right, now we are back at our node explorer. 
We'll refresh the page and we see this is our new node and we we'll are name this Raspberry Pi 4 and I would like to have it send me an email when it goes offline. See here you need some staking amount. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I have currently have zero. I'll update this. Go back to my no list. If you have some available, then you can use those. For me, I'm going to take 1,000 from this node. I'll just say stake. And then I'll change that from 5,000 to 4,000. And I'll update. By doing that, I now have 1,000 token to use for this new node. I click stake. And I'll change this to 1,000 and click update. And just like that, you are now running a new node. These number here will take a little bit to update. As you can see yesterday, I already set up some nodes here. After one day, this is the result. So if you stake 1000 tokens and you have a reliability score of over 81 ish and currently US West, is the best region to be in if you're running a cloud node you will be earning about 0.5 as you can see current uh, the time right now is 03 utc uh, yesterday i set it up as 08 so still got five hours to go uh, it will most likely hit 0.5 and there have been people asking should i put more tokens into one node and i've asked the same question in my interview with colin pape and uh, he said, right now, it's probably better to spread out your tokens to run as many lightweight nodes as possible. So I wanted to do some testing to verify. So I staked 2000 tokens and that only gave me 3.8 instead of, if you look at here, 3.3, 3.2, uh, where I only staked 1000. Normally you would expect that if you stake double, you will be able to earn more pre, right? But no, that's not the case. As you can see, it was at 5,000, only got me around six pre tokens. Um, so it's, it's not proportional to the amount of tokens that you stake currently. So later on, this may change. Maybe when they release different nodes that you can run uh, that requires more storage or more processing power. But for right now, it's better to spread out your nodes. And especially if you're in the US, or if you're running cloud nodes, uh, try a West, US West IP address. And if you're running this from home, one residential IP can running only run one node. So this Raspberry Pi will just be the node uh, I'm gonna be running. And the reliability score, the higher, the better. The higher reliability score, the more than likely they will use your node for search traffic. And you get higher score by leaving your device online, by having a faster internet, lower latency, and in the region they want. The current focus is us north america and europe all right cool guys this is it for the video don't forget to come join our discord this is Mototech. thank you for watching i will see you next time